Hey, what's going on guys? Krosama here, and welcome to my painted kit review. Um, it's It's been a good while since I actually painted a kit. I think the last one I did paint was uh, the Sananju Stein narrative version, which was uh, a little bit earlier last year. I think it was maybe around like July, uh, August time frame. But yeah, painting kits, it, it takes a lot of motivation for me to actually start the painting process. But with the Barbados, it was really just it just came to me i didn't feel the need to try and like give excuses on why i should paint this i just wanted to paint it um so immediately after building this kit and reviewing it i went ahead and got started on painting it and this is pretty much the end result uh, there's a lot of issues and there's a lot of things that i actually think i did fairly well on um but more importantly there's a lot of stuff i want to reflect on and um explain to you why i chose what i chose when it came to like paints techniques and different applications uh so the first thing i do want to take a look at is going to be the head now before i actually get started in the review i do want to give a shout out to newtypehq.com uh thank you so much for sponsoring this video and just allowing me to you know talk a little bit about this kit uh, but if y'all do want to pick up any kind of paints, tools, accessories, or even kits such as the Masquerade Barbados, please go head over to their shop and pick up as much as you can and use that promo code Krosama so that way you can get 10% off. All right, so we'll take a look at the head unit first. Um, I'm gonna like just touch it a little bit, you know. I can, I can touch it; it's my kit. Uh, but yeah, so the first thing I'm, I gotta address the elephant in the room: um, the yellow on this kit. Um, it's it's very bright, extremely bright. I did not realize it, um, and I'll show you exactly what color I use. Um, I use, I'll kind of put it up at the front. Uh, I use Mr. Color Shara Yellow. So I actually really like this yellow. This is one of my favorite yellow paints. The problem with this is I was going for a very traditional Gundam look. Like I really wanted a, you know, just how a Gundam looks. You think yellow V fins and you think, you know, blue chest and all that. I was like, you know, that's what I want. And I got a little bit more than what I wanted. Um, I know the official artwork kind of shows the yellow to be a little bit more gold. But, yeah, you know, I, I went ahead and took a chance. I, I thought maybe making it a little bit more yellow would be uh, better. Um, I, I've kind of dulled down my Barbados Lupus Rex. Uh, I think that yellow came out a little bit darker. It wasn't this particular yellow. It was, a, it was like a, a just a flat yellow. And then I used gold for the Lupus. And I, I think I used another like very dull yellow. Um, so historically for Barbados, I never really used a very bright yellow. Um, I took a chance. And this is the end result. So do I think that yellow looks good? You know, I don't think it's a horrible color. I just think that with the overall tone of the mobile suit, it does not match. Um, I, it's just something about it. It's it's too bright for a very faded look of the kit. The kit is is kind of toned down in certain areas, but there are a lot of things in this kit that is really expressive, and that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted this kit to be loud. I wanted this kit to, you know, kind of tell a story with every single part. Um, it's just kind of like the way I envisioned it. Uh, now, probably in this video or even in just like pictures, it may come off a little bit brighter because just I have lights, you know, I, ha I have to keep this thing illuminated because uh, I have a very dark room. So the lights could be giving off a little bit of a, of a brighter tone than what it's actually intended. But, you know, I, I don't think I don't think it's the worst thing ever. I, I, I was really I was really hard on myself. Um, and I really just kind of beat myself up uh, the past night and I was thinking, you know, this is the worst thing I've ever built in my entire life and I just, I felt completely remorseful and I, I truly wanted to throw this whole kid in the dumpster. Um, I just, I didn't think it looks good and some people kind of agreed with me on, um, it really, it looked really bad and, you know, maybe I should just start over, but I'm just going to keep it as is. I'm going to, I'm going to drown out the, the yellow the best I can before, uh, I leave, but yeah. Now moving on, I do want to also mention the effect part. Um, so some people was mentioning a YouTuber, uh, and I checked him out. Uh, really good stuff. His Barbados video is fantastic, and hopefully I can remember to put the link of that video in the description. If I don't, maybe someone can help me out uh, and post it in the comments section. But the um, the effect part he uses is essentially the same thing as I use. Now this is the thing. People are kind of saying I, I referenced him. Um, you know, this is the uh, the color I use. It's kind of like a uh, like a little sheet. Um, but people are saying I referenced him. 
Um, I didn't. <laughs> so I, I really didn't even know this dude kind of existed until I think in the not in the middle, but it was like it was nearing the end of this build. Um, but I've already done this eye streak in three other you know previous uh, Barbados kits already. Um, I've done green and I've done red. So I was like, okay, I see that on the box art of this kit, it's blue. So I was like, you know what? I actually want to go and try a blue eye streak just that is replicated on the box. Um, so yeah, I've already made a video of me doing this um, back in 2017, I believe, with the uh, Barbados Lupus Rex. So it's not something that I, I was just like, oh, look, hey, I see this other YouTuber doing it. Let me do it. I'm generally a, a huge fan of the eye streak when it comes to Barbados. So I was going to figure out a way to do this. And um, yeah, I went ahead and did it. And I already painted the eyes blue um, around that time that the video came out. So I was already in line to doing it. But yeah, I just cut out that little kind of effect part, like effect paper. Um, I'm going to try and maybe cut out another one and just change up the shape. because I think the shape is a little bit off. But regardless, I don't think it looks bad. Um, I just think the creases... Uh, I'll have to like cut out a new one and try and figure out a way to um, avoid those creases. Now also throughout the kit I did use uh, some brown weathering so I'm going to get really close to the Barbados and <laughs> yeah, I used some uh, ground brown Mr. Weathering color for pretty much a majority of the kit and I also used the uh, brown panel lining for all the lining uh, just because I felt black was going to be too strong. <laughs> You know, oh, I got the yellow, so um, I, I was like, you know what, maybe the brown's going to really keep the theme of, like, weathered, but I didn't want to, like, overdo it. So I did the best I could, and, you know, I don't think it's horrible. I just kept, like, I got some bronze in there as well. But, uh, yeah, I just went ahead and did some washes of, uh, of that brown all over and a little bit of rust here and there. You're not going to see it on, on the, uh, the video, though. And then, uh, for the most part, I kept the inner frame clean. Uh, I don't know why, because <laughs> you would think the inner frame is going to be something that's super dirty, but um, to be honest, I really just want to keep the inner frame as clean as possible uh, to include the pistons. Now for the body, this is something that is uh, is super duper uh, brighter on camera than what it actually is. Um, the blue is a little bit more toned down. I mean, the blue is still pretty bright, uh, but I think it's a little bit louder here, and you don't see that shading as predominantly as you see it on uh, on video right now. Uh, the shading is a little bit more, you know, kind of uh, faded in, but this looks like it's just like super loud. Uh, so apologies for the camera work. Um, but uh, the one thing I do want to mention is going to be those pistons. Uh, I did go with uh, blue pistons, as you can see. I really had a vision in my head that those blue pistons were going to look super goddamn good on this kit. Um, boy, was I wrong. Um, I don't know. I just made a bad judgment call. Um, I, I, to be honest, I really don't have any excuses. I just really thought that the blue could look really cool because I've never seen a Barbados with uh, blue pistons. And the thing is, machinery that I have around my work area, like I work on a military base. I see a lot of machinery and some machinery I've seen has blue pistons, like ha has blue like hydraulics. And I'm like, man, I really want to put that into a mobile suit because I'm so tired of seeing the gray. I'm so tired of seeing copper and gold and red. It's the same thing over and over again. Um, and it's not to discredit any builders because there's some fantastic builds I've seen that utilize those colors. But I really just want to stand out a tad bit more on my build and not be just another generic Barbados build. Um, you know, I, everything else is fairly much generic such as the whites the yellows the reds and blues but i was like at least with the pistons i want to stand out but you know i did my best um it, i think it came out okay uh the chipping on the blue i use a uh i think it's called like it's like a superior this is like a superior silver my bad it's called a uh, dx rough silver it's a really really nice silver and i think i just thought it looked really good when it came to uh looking at you know like different scrapes and stuff on the blue so I don't know if that is the case if it does look good or not maybe some people can let me know um, but I, I just thought it kind of stood out a little bit more and uh, yeah I didn't want it I didn't want the scrapes and the the chipping on the uh, the blue to just kind of fade in with it with because it's black right there so I was like you know what let me put that silver and just see how it you know comes out and I think I did an okay job I didn't go as heavy as I did with the um, 
the Sinanju Stein. I think the Sinanju Stein did a horrible job when it came to chipping. Uh, but I think with this kit overall, I did a fairly good job because even though some areas is a little bit too much, um, I, I think it still is a part of the theme of Barbados. It's a very worn down mobile suit that is super close combat and gritty. So of course it's gonna be a little bit worn. And here we have the arms. So basically the same thing applies to the arms as does like the head and everything else in this kit. Um, the one thing that is gonna be different though is going to be that red, uh, or I guess like pink. Yeah, it's pretty much pink um, right there at the shoulder. So I went with this and you know, I think it came out okay, but what I should have done, so I painted a clear pink over chrome. What I should have done is painted gold over the chrome and then pink over the gold. I think that would have looked so much better. Um, and this is like one of those cases, you know, you, you live and you learn. You, you kind of just go with the flow and see how it works. Um, I do think the pink looks fine. It's a little bit more uh, dull than what I really wanted. Um, so it kind of is what it is, to be honest. But regardless, I think it looks okay. Um, you got more blue pissed in the back. Now, one thing I need to do is uh, do some more chipping right here on the blue for the elbow. I didn't do any chipping on there, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to do some silver chipping on there just to kind of like keep the theme going. You know, it looks a little bit empty. Um, I've, I got red for those little hydraulics on the uh, the arms, the forearm, and the back. Um, you know, I, I think I think it, I think the arms is probably my favorite part of this entire kit. I, I just think the arms look really good. Um, great amount of chipping. It's not like overdone. I think the colors are all pretty much spot on. Um, even the yellow to me isn't like really too bad on the shoulders as, as it is with the V fin. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it looks good. And with looking at the waist, um, looks really good. I, I don't really have any issues. I think the yellow here is actually pretty good as well. Um, uh, the black looks good. It's a, pretty much a flat black. It's a really dark flat, uh, flat black as well. Um, but yeah, I don't really have any issues. I don't think I messed up anywhere on the uh, the skirt. Came out pretty damn solid. Uh, well, I guess the back of the skirt. I went way too hard on this side for whatever reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix it up and kind of like you know put a little bit extra on this side uh, just to really balance it out. I don't know what the hell happened over here to be honest. But granted, I was doing a lot of this chipping at like 2 to 3 uh, a.m. in the morning. So I was probably just a little bit, you know, extra tired. All right, and looking at the top half of the leg, um, I'm, I'm going to run another wash on this because, you know, I don't think it, I don't think the wash did its job. Um, it, it did stain up a little bit of the white, which I did want. Uh, but I think I could have done a better job. And you got that pink right there once again. I really do think the pink came out pretty damn good. Um, you know, it, like I said, it could have been better. I could have put that gold underneath it, but I do think for the most part, if it hits the light a certain way, it's going to look bl just beautiful. And uh, there is a blue hue to that um, to that pink because I slapped some um, like it's like blue prism on top of it, so I thought that looked pretty good as well. All right, now we're taking a look at the lower half of the leg. Um, just once again, some more chipping. I think everything came out. I think the blue and the red on the back of the leg actually looks so damn good. Um, it's like the blue pistons on everything but the torso and the the shoulders looks great. Um, you know, maybe I should have went with red for uh, the shoulders and the um, the waist or even gold and just kept every, you know, like the legs and the arms and everything else blue. Um, but yeah, the bottom half of the leg looks fine. The yellow looks good. The red looks good. Um, I think I'm just gonna dirty up a little bit more of like some mud because that's, that's just kind of like random that little tiny spot right here with some spots right here I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit more um, so that's definitely gonna be a change that's gonna occur uh, later this week now for the backpack and I, I guess we're gonna take a look at that sword so the sword's not even dirty because I had no intention to display the sword with this kit and I really still don't I just kind of threw it on there just to throw it on there um, backpack looks good though I actually kind of like what I did with this I just did multiple blacks and um and browns and i just really i did some good chipping and yeah I, I think i did a good job with the backpack so i'm going to pat myself on the back <laughs> um and i did all for for the inner frame if y'all wondering i did light gray metal and then for like the weapons and the barrel of the uh smooth bore i did a regular gun metal uh, just to give it different tones but i did spray light gun metal in uh random parts on the uh, the smooth bore and the mace um, same thing with the uh, the sword so it's gonna have like different tones if you kind of like catch in the light a certain way 
All right, now we're taking a look at the mace. So I did some shading, and you can probably easily see it. So you know, some shading right here, did some shading on the inside. Um, it's kind of weird. Like I don't think it's horrible looking. I actually think it's pretty fine. Um, but maybe some people are not going to be too fond of it. Did some shading right there for the mace as well. So. Some people are not going to like it, but, you know, I'm kind of just like, whatever. I, I think it looks fine. I don't think it really takes away from the aesthetics. Uh, but I probably could have added a little bit more, of, you know, color to the mace, but I think it's fine. And lastly, we're going to talk about the smoothbore gun. So with this, or smoothbore cannon, whatever you want to call it. So um, I didn't finish this. This is an incomplete smoothbore gun. Um, the green is a lot brighter on camera than what it really is. It's, it's a little bit more toned down. Um, one of the major things about this that I don't care for is that the fact um, it's, it's shaded super heavy and uh, I use black for the shading. I should have used maybe gray or even like brown. Um, yeah, like something super light, uh, but I really should not have went with black because uh, I just really, I really wasn't thinking that because the green I was using was a, was a lighter tone green, that black was going to show up so much. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, the barrel looks good. Some people were saying that the shading on here looks bad because it looks like it's broken up into three different parts. Honestly, it's kind of whatever. I mean, it, it has um, panel lining in there anyways, so I'm kind of like, you're going to see... You know, it's gonna look like that no matter what. Uh, even if I didn't, you know, do some shading, I think you still would have saw all three of those little, um, you know, indentions. But the white looks good. Everything else looks is, looks pretty fine. I just need to add more color to that green because it's just one big block of green, which looks pretty ugly. So I'm gonna add some uh, different tones of colors in there. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna really display this kit with that smoothbore gun. So honestly, what are my final thoughts on this entire paint and build? Well, you know, there's a lot I still need to do. Um, and I really don't want to spoil too much because I, I really want to make another video on just updates and kind of things I've tweaked and, and made a little bit better. Um, but unfortunately, I am going to be gone for about two months. Uh, I am bringing this kit with me because there is a, uh, a Gumpla, or I would say just a model competition over in uh, Richmond, Virginia. And it's going to be happening next month. The name of the competition just leaves me. Uh, but there is a sci-fi category. And I want to see what this thing can do in a competition. I, I don't think I did the best of job <laughs> because uh, the shading it's kind of spotty here and there like it's really strong in one area it's really weak in another area um i think the little power you know little power symbols whatever on the shoulders and knees and all that i don't think it's as vibrant as i really want it to be the 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 yellow is is super bright which i'm going to tone down uh, at least that's one thing i'm going to fix um and there's just some other little small issues here and there but uh, you know there there's some things that i'm going to work on but i want to just bring this to a competition, see what judges even think. If they think, hey, you know, they may, they may give me some pointers, like, hey, you could do this, this, and this, and this will look a lot better. I'll be like, you know what? I'll take that. I'll take that uh, and roll with it and, and, and do the best I can. Um, some people have given me advice already on this kit. Uh, they kind of mentioned like, hey, you know, you should, um, you should kind of like do some weathering on the pistons and then really tone it out. I feel like if I did that, I'm kind of going against what my original uh, ideas were. I, the pistons, I, I, I just need them to be clean. I, I know this thing is weather, I know it's been through shit, but I need these pistons to be as sparkling clean as possible. Don't ask me why, it's just that's, that's the way I feel and that's the vision I have uh, for this kit. Um, everything else I really don't give a shit about, uh, maybe just except for like the, uh, the power little symbols and the eyes, uh, that's the only thing I really want to keep shiny as well, but the pistons, that, that needs to stay the way it is. Um, everything else I can, I, I've already, d uh, dulled down as much as I can, um, but yeah, I'm gonna give it another wash and just see what another wash is gonna do to this kit. Hopefully it does something, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna spoil everything else I'm gonna be doing, but, um, uh, Hopefully you guys appreciate the, the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy the look of this painted build and just me kind of talking about it. Um, and if you do have any pointers, hey, let me know in the comment section below. I'm, I'm, I'm always open to constructive criticism. But if you kind of just come in here and, you know, say like, oh, you should just, you know, just throw it away. 
even though I've already said I, I felt that way, um, it's not really too constructive. So uh, help, help me out if you can, if you do know of any kind of uh, maybe tutorials or you just have any sound advice uh, for what I can possibly do to help my situation, definitely let me know. Um, but I'm gonna get back to um, to doing some videos. I'm gonna get back to doing some um, some building up until Friday morning, where I have to leave and go, you know, to Los Angeles, and then I go to New, uh, New Orleans, and then I finally go to Virginia for two months, and I'll be back in March 17th. So um, that's it for me, guys. Uh, you'll still expect to see videos. Don't worry. I'm a I'm a backlog some videos here and there. Um, but yeah, that's it for me, guys. Uh, I think it's time for me to get some some good earned sleep after this. Uh, crazy build. Uh, but that's it. I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye bye. And I'd like to give a quick shout out to all my members of the channel. Honestly, guys, without your help, things would be so much harder to actually produce content on this channel. So thank you so much for supporting me. And I'm just extremely grateful. But thank you very much.